What do you think about me not eating for 36 hours? I think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest you've gone without eating? Today. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Monday, December 12th. It's currently like 6.45 in the morning and I decided that today I would attempt a longer fat. A few reasons why. I had a really good weekend. I spent a lot of time like just doing things with the family. I did a lot of baking. I did, um, on Sunday we had like a mini little tea party with just the five of us so today i just feel like just feel like i ate enough for three days maybe today i want to do an extended fast to one allow my body like the opportunity to like digest everything that i've already eaten and to have a little bit of rest after that digestion and also today i've been here in my office doing like a lot of work for my business but also for my full-time job so the way that i currently create or set my schedule is that i stack my mondays and tuesdays um last week even wednesday was like pretty full but my goal is i'm just curious to see like if i could possibly make monday a day of the week that i do like millis mondays or something i don't know it may not work all the time but i'm just thinking that if i can just dedicate my mondays to work because whenever i'm fasting i just have like so much attention and focus and i'm curious so that's mostly that's the primary reason why i'm doing this because usually on sundays i fast and eat well anyways because i'm home but given that it's a holiday season and i wanted to make some you know some special things for the kids so that's why like yesterday was like an over indulging day yeah so i'm really curious to see if this works so i've currently been fasting for 10 hours and 26 minutes now if i get like hungry like i'm not about like starvation or any of that stuff but i'm curious to see if i can just go like all night and maybe do like a 36 hour fast i think that will feel really good i'll try my best to take you guys along with me and do like little quick inserts like through throughout the day so i'm looking at my schedule i have one two three four five six seven patients scheduled so my work hours clinical work hours for today are between like 8 30 45 until 5 30 and that doesn't include like any additional documentation time that i may need to do somebody should tell me go get on the treadmill felicia go get on the treadmill you're gonna be mad at yourself if you don't get it in i finally got my sneakers on let's do this i grew up in a place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave okay guys so this is my first time like actually being able to pick up the camera so this morning i did five miles and i was so proud of myself because it was like my fastest five mile that i've done in like at least over a year so that was incredible so right now it is like 1 18 i'm just a few minutes early for my next patient so i just pulled over real quickly to do a quick check-in i've done i've seen four patients so far it's been a really good morning and i love that i've been able to just be focused and like really zoom in and the patients i have on case law right now so interesting like currently i'm trying to slowly wean someone off of oxygen and that's been really exciting because um i got a lot of experience with that during the pandemic because we had patients that were on oxygen for the first time and it was just a joy to be able to wean some of them off not all of them but some of them so that was fun then i've treated um sciatica low back pain a ton of muscle weakness and balance issues so it's been a good day and my 4 30 patient actually called to cancel she received a dinner invite so you guys know like the majority of my patients are homebound so they don't get out often so whenever something like that comes up like what am i gonna say like no don't go you have a therapy appointment i mean i probably should have but no i was like it's fine we'll reschedule and she requested thursday so i rescheduled her for thursday but it's been a good day now i will say since she canceled typically what i would do is try to look at my schedule because it's monday so like throughout the rest of the week and see if i can move someone over but i am going to just use that time to go to the office because i have a lot of orders and stuff i need to check on and see if a lot of things were followed through from last week because the doctor's office is closed 
they close up early on Fridays. So I've got a lot of follow up to do, but I am not hungry. Let's see how many hours I've been fasting. Oh my goodness, I'm out in the boonies and it is not loading. Okay, so I've currently been fasting for 17 hours. Today I do have plenty of water. Oh, and I also have coffee. I have one, two, three. Oh, two more patients, wow. I got a lot of drive time, but I have two more patients. And what I would like to see is I would like to see that I'm able to complete all of my documentation um, for today. We'll see. All right, so 347. And I have to say, when I was with that patient, it was the first time I thought about food. <laughs> like, I don't feel like hungry or anything, but I definitely feel like on my way driving back to the office, which is like over 30 minutes away, that I'm going to drink plenty of water and some of my coffee finally. Currently 19 and a half hours past. Oh my gosh, you guys. Also, not this patient, but the patient before this patient. The couple, they're, they both fast. Like, I was just so blown away. We were talking about like other stuff like related to like health and wellness and all of this. And like the patient's prior level function and everything. And then they told me that they fast for like 12 hours at a time. So even if you're sleeping, guys, you can count those hours and just add a few more hours to it. So they do 12 hours on, 12 hours off. So I thought that was amazing. Okay, I promise I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to the vlog. <laughs> All right, guys. So I am currently in the office and I've been fasting for 20 hours and 27 minutes. And I just called all of my patients for tomorrow. However, now that I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you guys, I'm thinking that I probably should have scheduled a little gap in between because I scheduled seven patients back to back. And I don't know how I'm gonna feel after a 36 hour fast. So I probably should have given myself a little bit more time, but I didn't. So now I'm wondering if I should um, also film tomorrow, like how I feel tomorrow after a 36 hour fast. Oh, I should go ask one of my coworkers, what does she think about me doing a 36 hour fast? I haven't really told anyone, but you guys, actually I mentioned it in my stories, but I didn't say when, because in case this didn't go right, I wasn't gonna tell you yet. <laughs> Let me go ask my coworker what she thinks about me doing a 36 hour fast. Do you wanna be on the vlog? Huh? What? <laughs> Come on. Give somebody else a <laughs> Rude. Wait, hold on. So first I gotta make sure there's no patient information anywhere. So let me do that first. All right guys, so I haven't told her um, what I wanted to know yet. So Ms. Thinky, what do you think about me not eating for 36 hours? Huh? <laughs> Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> no, seriously. You know what guys, she's, what's, what's been your longest fast? Um, straight. Mm -hmm. It was probably forty-eight hours. Forty-eight hours. See, I knew probably that I could hours. find out from her because she was a pastor's wife, and you know how they be going. They be going ham for all of y'all hooligans. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So for, yeah. thirty-six doesn't sound bad, does it? Mm -mm. It's my first time. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I had a feeling that she's probably fasted that long before. Let me see. Later, do you want to be on the vlog? What do you think about me not eating for 36 hours? I think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest you've gone without eating? Today. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys. All right, I need to sit down and do some documentation. I'll be back. <laughs> All right guys, so it's currently 6.47. I just came home to finish this paperwork. I have like one more chart to document, but I am going to push that one till tomorrow morning. 6.48, I'm currently like 22 hours fast. I will say I noticed like as I was documenting that my energy levels are definitely like starting to drop. But I don't know if that's, if that has anything to do with fasting or I don't know because normally I get pretty tired in the evenings too because I do tend to wake up pretty early so I don't know I just thought I would mention it here the goal is to go to bed like by 8 30 go ahead and take a shower prepare for the evening and we'll see how it goes and I do need to drink more water good morning guys Oh my gosh, it looks so crusty. I have not washed my face yet. I just escaped out to the living room. I slept so well last night. I think I woke up, I woke up one time because my husband got up to go to the bathroom and like, so I snuggle. So of course, you know, when the other person gets up, 
And then when he came back, we were talking for a little bit, maybe like 30 minutes, but then I went right back to sleep. And it's currently, currently 5.04, and I had such a good night's rest. I did want to share with you guys that last night, around like 8.30 or so, um, because I got into bed a little bit before 8, because I was starting to get a little hungry, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then around 8.30, I went and I went to the refrigerator and I grabbed the salmon and I was like, okay, either you can eat this now and break your fast. I think it was like 24 hours or something. I said, or you can just go to sleep and like sleep it off and maybe you'll feel fine. And I'm so happy that I made the decision to just go to bed. My husband's like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Because if I really wanted it, like there's nothing that he or anyone else could have said to me. Um, but yeah, so currently I'm looking at the app. We are at 31, oh, 31 and a half hours. And it says that I'm in ketosis, which is really nice. But I do need to start thinking about what I want to eat when I break my fast. Because for me, like 36 hours is the longest fast I will have ever done. So you want to like ease your body back into digestion again um i don't know if i'm gonna have like any constipation or diarrhea i don't think so like i feel fine i feel normal um oh yeah also i came out here because i love having time like drinking my coffee in the morning and looking at the christmas tree which i haven't had coffee yet i'm about to do that. oh and i have four miles scheduled for this morning but i feel fine like i feel actually i feel great this morning i feel like amazing not even kidding you all right guys so i'm about to go for a four mile walk i'm currently at 6 30 6 35 right now i'm currently 33 hours and five minutes into my fast i cannot believe it see that you guys see that right now like i think i'm most blown away of like how good i feel this morning like i feel amazing i'm only doing four miles but i truly feel that i would be able to do more than that if i had more time but i don't have more time i've got to get to work so yeah 33 hours oh my gosh <sighs> It's like a high. It is such a high because you know, like all the ketones are like released and like it gives you that good energy. And all right guys, so I just completed four miles and I actually feel amazing. But look at this, my app just decided to like pause itself out. So here's what it keeps saying and I keep trying to hit continue fasting and it starts back, but then, then, Go back to it. See, it keeps saying pause, like they've paused it. So I don't know what's gonna happen once I finally, it just keeps restarting at 28 hours. Hopefully when I hit end fast, like at the actual time that it recalculates, <laughs> that it recalculates the proper time, but we'll see. But I, I still feel great. I feel great. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna eat. Are you ready to eat after your overnight fast? All right, so I'm trying to calculate. I started, just in case this does not do proper math for us. So I started my fast on December 11th, which was Sunday night at 8.20 p.m. Yesterday, like last night at 8.20, would have been 24 hours. <laughs> And then this morning at 8.20, that's another 12 hours, right guys? 36, is that right? So like this morning would be, started at 8.20 on Sunday. So that means 24 hours would be 8.20 p.m. Monday. So that means that from 8.20, 12 more hours would be 8.20 a.m., right? 8.20, yeah, so that means like it's currently 8.06. Well, I haven't made it, but I think I'm gonna make it. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And I still feel really, really good. And I was able to do five miles yesterday morning, four miles this morning, and I don't feel like I'm dying or any of that stuff. So I think, I thought I was gonna do like salmon and um, a salad to open my window, but I think I'm actually gonna go make some eggs, have like eggs and salsa and some cheese, and then pack to take with me for lunch um, the salmon and salad that sounds good so excited i did it <laughs> all right i'll be back i'll show you guys what i made so i decided to go with four eggs and just whip those up and i'm gonna toss some salsa inside and just make like a small omelet i'm gonna use this 
And my husband wants you guys to know that I didn't make him eggs. Boy, See what time it is. Oh, I've got to be work at nine. Oh, boy, and she's feeling some type of way too. So this is what we're taking to work today. This will be what I'll eat on my way, like driving to my patient. This is an omelet with salsa, egg salsa, cheese, um, and some triscuits. And this is what I'll eat later. I have a salad here and salmon, salad dressing, and grapes. So this is what I'll eat while I'm out working today. All right, we're at a red light. I'm about to hit stop fast. Wait, my mom's calling. Hold on. Hello? Hold on one second, mom. All right, guys, I'm about to hit in fast. We did it. Total of 36 hours and 32 minutes. Let me show you. What? Can you see that? So I just decided to pull over so I can take the first few bites with you guys because I tried to start eating and I was making a mess, so. This is what food tastes like after 36 hours of fasting. Mmm. <laughs> Fabulous. All right, let me get back on the road and call my mom back. <laughs> okay guys, so it is currently like, what time is it, 11.45. And I just realized that if I don't make time to eat, I'm not gonna have time. So, good. so now I think I'm gonna have my salmon and some grapes, maybe even some of the salad. My salad was on top, so I decided to eat this. And I also need to drink more water and hydrate more. I feel really good. My energy levels are incredible. I think I'm also gonna have some mineral water too. I gotta rush and eat a little bit, I'm sorry. I can't film everything, but patience like back to back today. But I feel great, I'm gonna let you guys know that, and I'll show you how much I'm able to get down. So I drank all of this, I finished all of this. All right, currently 140, and I'm going to finish off the salmon ain't great, but I still feel great. I feel so good. Like I don't feel like I'm starving or anything like that, but I just do feel like I need to eat. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does. I don't feel like I'm starving or dying or like have like this killer, killer hunger, but I just feel like I should probably eat. Okay, so I, I still have like about two to two and a half more hours of work. So I just swung by my house and tossed this in a bag. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna eat all of it, but I at least wanted to grab some extra food because I'm trying to eat throughout the day because once I get home, I just want to eat like a meal and then let that be it and then close out my eating window. All right guys, it's currently 5 p.m. and I'm going to have some wings and potatoes and then after this, I'm closing my eating window. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. As always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.